Regarding water chemistry in a hot tub, there are actually four things that get into water. There's cooties, there's calcium, there's dirt, and detergents. The detergents can actually be knocked down by chlorine. It'll break down the phosphates and you won't have the suds. When you look at the dirt, the dirt should get caught by your filter without a problem. The calcium is something that comes in in all water. And so you'll put a stain and scale inhibitor in there or maybe some pH down to make the water feel softer, but your filter will eventually pick up that calcium. But the cooties are the things you wanna mess with. When it comes to bacteria, when it comes to any type of thing that gets into the water, you want to kill that bacteria. So chlorine, bromine, and ozone are used. When you talk about chlorine, chlorine is stable to 80 degrees. So it'll react with the water and it'll kill everything, but it will almost immediately dissipate. This frustrates the people that like to use little dipsticks to make sure that it's perfect. Chlorine is hard to keep a, an actual level of it because it goes high and goes low and disappears so quickly. Bromine is much more stable in warm water, but it has kind of a goofy smell. So some people don't like bromine. So my favorite is ozone, which is O3. O3 touches the water, releases an ion of oxygen which attaches to a cootie and the cootie dies of old age. That's the best of the best. So when it comes to water chemistry, just watch the water clarity. Everything else will fall into place.